Hi everyone, thanks for stopping by Pete's Garage. Now today for the 1965 Mustang, we're going to take the door apart, change the regulator to make the window go up and down, and while we have it apart, change the rubber grommets on the outside door handle. Now before we get started, I have another product to share with you that solves a bad problem I have here in the shop. While I was tuning the Mustang, after I changed the carburetor and rebuilt the cylinder head, I was tuning it and it was running really rich. It was running so rich that even though I had the front and rear doors open on my shop and I have ceiling fans, the gas was still burning my eyes. So I needed to get some ventilation in here pretty quick. My friends at New Air sent me this awesome fan to try out. Now this fan is really great because it comes with a super sturdy base which allows you to put it on the ground and aim it wherever you need it. It has a three speed pull chain which makes it really nice. Now I could very easily put this fan on the floor and aim it where I want it but I really hate tripping over cords. So this is what I did. I wanted to hang it from the ceiling so I made a bracket, bolted it to the ceiling, hung the fan from the ceiling and ran the wires up to a plug. That makes it really nice because now I have a fan that can rotate any direction and tilt it so I'm pointing it directly out the door and I can have a nice flow of air throughout the entire shop. Having good airflow is really important when you're running a vehicle inside a closed area. Thanks to New Air for sending me this fan. Now I have a link to this fan in the description of this video along with a promo code so you can get one for yourself. Now let's go take the door apart, find out why the window isn't going down all the way and replace the regulator. Right now the window doesn't roll down all the way. It stops right about there and I suspect it's either because something is bound up in the back or it's because of the regulator. Now with these regulators, these things have these plastic rollers that ride in the track for the window and they get cracked and what happens is they pop out of the window and they get bound up so the window can't go up and down uh, easily anymore. So we're going to take this apart and find out what the problem is. Now these panels are held on with these little clips and these little clips slide, you can see how they slide into the, the fiberboard. These panels are nothing more than material wrapped around and put on a piece of fiberboard and then they slide in a slot just like this. And if you reach under there with a screwdriver and just start prying off, you're going to rip this right out of the cardboard or the fiberboard and it's ruined, you'll never get it back on. So what you're trying to do and what you want to get as a tool, and I've shown you this before, I have a tool that looks like this, and what you're trying to do is, this is in the panel this way, so this, this, this goes in a hole in the door, and you want to get this thing, the, your tool, behind this clip, in between the clip and the door, and then when you pry it, you're pulling these, this part of the clip, you're pulling that out of the door. That's what you're trying to do there. So you never know what you're going to get when you look inside the door of an old car. The regulator here, those plastic runners are not in terrible shape. I'm still going to change that, but this is why the window will not roll up and down correctly. Because the glass carrier, or the piece of metal here that traps the glass is all rotted out. Which means the glass is not being held in place. I can lift up the glass, you can see the glass moving in and out of here. That's no good. Which means I'm going to have to order a new glass carrier. We'll have to change that at a later date. But while I have the door open, I'm going to change the plastic, I'm sorry, change the uh, rubber grommets on the outside handle. Taking off the door handle is pretty simple. There's a screw right here that goes into the handle which holds it. And then there's a screw on the inside of the door or nut that holds this side of the handle. And as you can see, these uh, grommets that are on here now, someone painted over them. They're dry rotted and uh, they don't need, they need to be changed just so they, well they look nicer. And then while I have it apart, I can clean all this paint off here that someone did a lousy job masking. They just painted right over the handle.
So like I said when we started, there's going to be a lot of little projects on the 65 Mustang. Now in order to fix this one, I'm going to have to order a door carrier, a glass carrier that rides in the regulator. We'll have to fix that in a future video. I also didn't change the regulator because in order to change the glass carrier, the carrier on the glass, I had to take the glass out of the door and when that comes out, this will be a lot easier to change. So we'll do that in a future video. Thanks for stopping by Pete's Garage.